today, Minnesota Governor Mark Dayton revealed that he's been diagnosed with prostate cancer. Uh, the shocking news came just hours after the Democratic governor collapsed during his State of the State address last night. Dayton fainted during the speech, hitting his head on the podium and then falling backwards. Pat Kessler was there to see it happen. Pat, we said it was shocking, but there's a lot of concern for the governor as well tonight. Yeah, it really was shocking, and a lot of people still stunned today. The governor said the cancer diagnosis now came after a routine physical two weeks ago when his PSA blood levels came in higher than normal. Governor Dayton revealed the shocking news after a routine press conference about the state budget when he was pressed with questions about his health. Uh, last week I had a biopsy that I do have prostate cancer. The governor said he had planned to reveal his prostate cancer diagnosis next week, but he decided to go public now after he collapsed Monday during his State of the State address. Dayton was caught before hitting the floor, clutching his speech as several lawmakers rushed to the podium to help. One of them, Republican Senator Scott Jensen, is a doctor. As I was walk walking down there rapidly, I was seeing cardiac heart attack, abrupt chest pain, uh, shortness of breath, congestive heart failure, stroke, TIA. Jensen laid Dayton on the floor, elevated his feet, and took his pulse. First 10 seconds, he wasn't having any shortness of breath. Uh, he was virtually unconscious at that point in time. He wasn't responding to verbal cues. Governor Dayton has a history of medical problems and has fainted in public before. He's had hip and back surgery limiting his mobility. And he says his prostate cancer did not cause his collapse Monday night. To those who question his ability to perform his duties as governor. I said when I had my hip surgery, there are no brain cells in my hip, and there are no, no brain cells in my prostate either. Well, he's taking it with good humor. Governor Dayton said he is meeting with his doctors next week to discuss his prostate cancer treatment options. They include radiation treatments or surgery. So very serious, Absolutely. but he says he's upbeat about it. My yeah. goodness. It yeah. certainly seems that way. Yeah. I understand that we have new information this evening as to why he collapsed last night. Yeah, we're just getting this uh, during the last hour from the Mayo Clinic. Uh, the Mayo Clinic spokesman says... The Mayo Clinic believes this episode was situational. They say it was related to standing for a long time while giving a speech and also possible hydration. Mayo says it's not related to his prostate cancer diagnosis, and they encouraged him to stay hydrated. Now, the governor told us today, he was joking, he said he has now figured out that the speech he gave is just too long. He's not going to give long <laughs> speeches again. He's got a good sense of humor about yeah, all he that. Does, he Although does. Although that male explanation does nothing to say why he stumbled walking in there. Yeah, yeah. all of this uh, could be dehydration. Mm -hmm. And do you listen to what the doctor says? He says to keep drinking water, drink more water. And that's what they're doing. Well, we wish him well for sure. Yeah, Definitely. We do, right? Thank you, Thank Pat. You, you bet.